This is an achievement that I believe is one of the most difficult for each of us as individuals in a collective society that is also um, is also evolving as a, as different cultures worldwide. Um, I remember in the basic in the basic beginnings as a child. Most of all, one of the most significant experiences for me when it came to a decisive change was the elaboration of ecstasy as a child the creative moment that was sustenance, sustenance in itself with no addition from the outside. And when, at the very early age, being so abstractly deviant with regards to my social responsibilities as a child um, and the metamorphosis into adulthood, my parents were guided and um, advised to bring to my attention and teach me to adhere to the rules and regulations of the vicinity, the environment, the schools, the education that was available to me and to all of the other children at my age in my culture. And of course that culture had a great deal to do with divisive sections of attributes that if you were more um, provided economically, you had access to a higher level of education, a higher level of society. If you were not, you had access to other penalties that would not give you access to the keys to social interaction. But in the midst of all of this, here I was, a child, in ecstasy, from an inside flow of a fluid that was cre created productivity itself. It took the shape of anything that it was poured into just very much like water takes the shape of any vessel, the size, the curvature, the, the expansion. It takes the shape of anything it's poured into. When I was advised to commit myself and dedicate myself to education as the rules and regulations of attainment, the first thing that took place was the alteration of my intimate relationship with something that was already present. And by doing so, what did occur was an emptiness, an emptiness. And from that point forward came an expe expectation on my behalf for this to be provided by those elders who were in a position to allow me to learn what should have been learned and to become an adult. Again, my main interest to begin with was the ecstasy of childhood. <coughs> Through the years, due to genetic reasons, I was born with arterial venous malformation, a AVM, which is, uh, for, for lack of complex descriptive elements in this conversation is uh, the entanglement of certain arteries in the brain. And of course this began to take place on the left temporal lobe of my brain. Throughout the years, through decades, this was diagnosed in various ways. It was diagnosed as manic depressive, was diagnosed as bipolar, the results of this um, condition. It was diagnosed as schizophrenia. And in retrospect as well as in response to these 
a consistent diagnosis. Uh, I was 